Okay, guys, um, I've done about good hours worth of videos in studio and it's crashed both times. So I'm um, part of my frustrated um, expression. Okay, um, I've given you guys a video on um, the right hand and the left hand rule. And I think it'd be really nice to just have a little bit of practice at that type of question. So what I'm gonna do is um, put some questions up on the board. I'll tell you to pause the video. Have a go at coming up with a, um, a solution to the problem and um, we'll go from there, okay? Uh, so we'll, we'll start with the left hand motor rule. So just a little bit of a reminder, force, so you make your gun, you go force field, as in sci-fi, and then the last finger goes at right angle. So you've got three vectors going perpendicular to each other, okay? Your X, Y, and Z axis if you're a mathematics type person, okay? Force field current. So I'm going to give you a problem now where we have a north, a south. I'm not going to tell you the direction of the vector or the, uh, the plus lines, you should know. And um, of course, it looks like it's, it's doing them backwards. Um, that's all right. North, south. Okay. Um, it's flipped camera. And I probably can flip it in Premiere Pro, but I'm not going to. And then we have um, our conductor. So I'm going to have the conductor going this way. And I am going to apply positive here and a negative here. And there's a current flowing in that direction. Okay, voltage is not enough to make this conductor move. You need moving electrons for it to happen. Okay, pause the video. Tell me which direction the force is going. I'm back. Um, so, positive and negative. So we take our left hand. We want to know the force. We don't know this yet, but we do know the field. Okay, now the field, north to south. Okay, arrows going down. Okay, so field going down. Okay, current, um, we know is going this way. Okay, so sometimes there's a little bit of a... Um, an exercise in breaking your arm. Um, so we've got current going this way. We've got um, field. Field's going down. Current's going. Oh, this is this is painful. <laughs> okay, I made it really difficult for myself. Um, field's going down. Current's going across, so the force is going into the board, into the whiteboard. Okay, so you're taking the, the um, things you know, field going straight down, and current going from um, left to right, okay, and that tells you force is going into the board, okay? A little bit of a, I've just done my wrist, I'll have to go see a typewriter. Okay. Let's do another one. So this time I'm gonna go north, south, our flux line direction, up the page. And in this instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the end of the wire. And I'm going to put a plus on it. What does that mean? Okay, if the plus is at this end of the conductor going into the board, then I, which is current, is into the board, our whiteboard. Okay, so I want you to tell me, pause the video, tell me which direction the force is acting. Um, no, it's, well, maybe it's that way. I don't know. I haven't worked it out yet. Okay, so, force field current, left hand, motor rule. Field, up the page. Current, 
If I, if I put my hand this way, the current would be coming out of the board. We want to go into the board, so we need to turn around this way, don't we? Okay, the current's going, this is the current, it's going into the board. The field is going from north to south up the board, so our force is going. That's right, it is going that way. Conductor moving in that direction. Okay, so I just want you to. Um, uh, work out what happens if instead of having the current going into the board We have our current Coming out of the board so this end of the conductor would be negative the other end would be positive Okay, I'll give you a second Pause the video uh, It's pretty obvious isn't it? Um, you would know that if it was going this way for the, into the board, it'll be going the opposite for the out of the board. Okay, but we can work it out. Okay, let's do it to make sure this rule actually works. Um, so field going up. Okay, um, so this time the current's coming out of the board. So it counts this finger. So of course, current coming out of the board, field going up, force going that way, just as we expected. Off to the left. Okay, so that is your motor rule. Okay, you just need to make sure you allocate the vectors correctly and you'll be able to work out direction that the conductor is going to move. Hope that helps. Um, a little bit of practice at um, doing that type of problem. Okay, so generator rule now. We've done our um, Fleming's um, left hand motor rule. We're going to do our right hand. Generator rule, it's very similar. Force, which is causing motion, or you can say that's the direction of motion, but you can say force, that's what's causing the motion. Uh, field and current, okay? All at 90 degrees to each other, okay? 90 degrees to each other. Once you do that, you never get it wrong, okay? So, north, south, Okay, flux line's going from this side across, north to south, and we have a conductor here, and this time we're not passing a current through it to cause a motion, okay, we're moving it to induce a voltage which causes a current, okay. Because we know that a moving magnetic field in relation to a conductor induces a voltage. And if you have a load on that on that conductor, it's going to create a current. Okay? What law is that that causes that? Faraday's law. Okay? Michael Faraday. Brilliant gentleman that he was. Okay, so um, we're going to be moving our conductor. Force, uh, our uh, our um, field's going that way. So we're going to move the conductor either into the board or out of the board, okay? And I'm going to say move conductor into board. What is direction of I, the current, okay? Is it going from top to bottom, bottom to top, conventional current? Pause the video, let me know. Okay, so, left hand was motor, right hand generator, okay? Field is going this way, okay? Our force, I said move the conductor into the board, so our force is going into the board, so our current is going in what direction? So we go, force is into board, okay? Field, is from right to left. So current is going to be going up. Some of these um, really test your skills of um, moving your hand around, okay? Um, so now, instead of going into the board, I'm going to be going out, move the conductor out of the board, what is the direction of current?
uh, pause it, let me know. You don't expect it to be the opposite, obviously, but it's nice to validate that this actually works, as I said before. Um, so we're moving, moving our um, conductor into the board, so our movement vector is the thumb, so we point our thumb into the board. Um, our field is moving across, so our current is going straight down. Eyes moving down. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's do one more example where I'm going to do a similar example to our, when we were doing our, our generator. For this instance, we'll be moving the um, conductor um, right off to the left. Okay, so let's do a north and a south. North and south pole with our um, lines of flux going straight down the board. And we are going to put a conductor in the field and we're going to move it to the left. Does the current come out of the board, in which case you'd have a negative at this end, or does it go into the board? Because if this end was positive, it'd be pushing the current that way, okay? Negative on the end means the other end's positive, it means the current is coming out of the board, okay? Pause the video, tell me do I need to put a plus on the end of that into the board, or a minus means the current's coming out. Okay, so right hand rule, okay? Um, force is to the right, fluxes are, um, so force is to the right, but the flux is, that field is pointing up, isn't it? So I need to point it down. So our current is coming, my finger, my um, third finger is pointing towards you, isn't it? So that means that this end is a negative because the current is coming out of the board, okay? Let us now... Move it in this direction, okay? Um, we should get the opposite answer. So pause the video and make sure you're happy with that. Okay, so right hand rule, okay? Flux going down, okay? Force going that way, so um, the, um, let's do it again, right hand rule. Because I can't remember what I said last time. Field down, force to the right, current into the board. Okay, so force this way, field down, and you can't see this finger because it's pointing into the board. So the end of this will be plus current going into the board. So that is your right hand rule for generators. Okay, sometimes you have to be a little bit like a Flavenko dancer to, uh, to get the hand in the right position, but um, it's a good way of understanding how a conductor will behave if it's got current flowing in it, in the case of a motor, um, or what current will be induced in, in a wire. Now if you've got a loop um, that's in a, a, a um, field and it's moving, or if it's got current flowing in it, um, you apply the same methodology, but you would just examine one side and work out what is happening on that one side. And everything that happens on the other side of the loop is going to be the opposite, okay? Um, have fun with that and um, uh, let me know if there's any issues or um, questions about it and um, email me with those questions and we'll, we'll sort it out.